How's it going everyone? Tonight we're gonna to I'm gonna start a new series. We're gonna rate ATVs, side by sides that you guys send in via Instagram DMs either on Clarks Addicts, Canyon Addicts, or ATV Lifestyle. ATV Lifestyle does work the best because that's the one I pay attention to most and post the most on. Um, I will link if you're if you do send in, just comment or put in your posting your four wheeler, what it is. Um, the year and that you want to be that you want it rated i will try and do them i'm gonna do it once a week for sure maybe twice it'll go up on youtube probably facebook and instagram reels and tiktok um if you guys have any questions comment below on it i will post links to their instagrams whoever i do rate in the or down in the description i'll probably do three or four every time i do it maybe more we'll see how each night goes uh, we'll get things started off right away. The first one was sent in by Colmore94 on Instagram. He's got a player sportsman. It is, and I'll put pictures in as I'm doing them. So it looks like he's got a pretty sharp sportsman here. Um, LED light bar on it. Looks like big horns, race line wheels. Um, some halos going on there. Just an all-around good-looking four-wheeler. I think where I would rate it looks-wise is, um, I would say probably seven and a half. The uh, reason I would say seven and a half is I'm more of a mud guy, so I like more of a mud build. I do really appreciate this build. It looks like a good all-around build, good trail machine. Um, big horns look actually really good on here. It's got a good stance to it and the halos do set it off and give it that extra look to it um, Comment below what you would rate it at. I think it's a good-looking four-wheeler. Good job Cole Cole Moore 94 uh, Put it in the description below there The next one is at Eric Mornay I probably did not say that right. I'm sorry. He's also got a Sportsman, uh, a little bit newer one. Looks like it is, I'm trying to look at the pictures here. Looks like we're camouflage here. Yep, camo, camo Sportsman. Um, beautiful picture in the mountains there. I'm going to have to give this one a 6 just because it's a pretty simple build. Looks like he's got this player's bumper on it. Um, light bar off the front. Other than that, it looks like a pretty stock machine. Still a very clean and good looking machine. Um, wheels and tires, I think, would really set this thing off and make it look very nice. From there, we are going to... We got Jacob.wwood. He's got a sportsman. Looks like a 570. Looks like a stock machine. I do really like these factory headlights that Players runs. Um, he's got the Players bumper on it, winch. Good looking machine. I think I'm gonna rate I'll rate this one a 62 only because it's a stock machine. If I had some more done to it, I think. Again, wheels and tires on this thing. I think bump it up to an eight pretty easy. It's a good looking bike. I love the black on it. It's a good looking machine. Going to go ahead and switch over here and take a peek at, see if we got some other machines other than players here. One second. Sorry about that. I had to get the pictures to load. Um, next one is a Canyon Outlander. Love the blue on it. He's got some halos on it. Stock tires. Looks like he might be. He's got a rad relocate. XMR rad relocate. I like that uh, the rad relocate cover he's got on it. Um, definitely looks sharp. Looks like factory snorkel kit on there. Some light whips. Um, good looking machine. Very clean. Um, I'm going to put this one at a 7. Again, wheels and tires I think would top this build off and make it very nice. Probably bump it up to an eight and a half, nine. Really do like that blue that Can-Am runs on them. Um, this one is from, oof, I'm gonna have to link it below or put it in the comments. It is O-R-T-I-Z 
LOS 71. Good looking bike. And we'll do one more. This one is from Lucas underscore 35704. He's also got a Can-Am Outlander. He's running 31 inch Moto Havix on HD rims, high lifter snorkel risers, Empire exhaust, BOM racing tuner, full Rekotrit skid plate, and far, or far mudding uh, halos. This is a definitely the most built bike that we've reviewed so far. Very sharp bike. Um, gonna have to put this one at a nine maybe even a 9.5 i really like the black with the red combo the moto havocs look killer down there snorkel kit looks good just a clean but really good looking mud bit bike um keep it up if you guys remember if you guys want your bike rated uh make sure to hit up one of the instagram pages i will put atv life uh, life instagram below Send it in, put in there that you want it rated. I'll do it once or twice a week. Um, please follow, subscribe, comment below what you think each bike should be rated at, and get out and ride.